What's up everyone? Today on PSVR Silent, we will be doing an in-depth review on Wanderer VR using the PlayStation 5. But before we get into that and get that started, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing my channel and give the video a like. It would help my channel to grow and I'd appreciate it a whole lot. Got that done? All right, good looking out. Thank you. And now we can begin. Wander is a fantasy adventure set in multiple time zones and an alternate past, future, and current timeline. It also offers a full motion controls and comfort settings. Within each level, you'll find a huge selection of random items placed throughout for you to play with, however you see fit. Want to break shit? Break shit. You can throw things around all you want. It's pretty fun. You can do it however you want, even inappropriately with a banana. Seriously, the level of polish into each area, as well as the sound design, are all very impressive here. Although sound design does fall a bit flat on ambient sounds like the lack of footsteps for example and seems to be a bit inconsistent at times, however what is here is triple A quality. The original music score is sensational and nail setting the tone for every moment as you play through. The level of detail here is undeniably one of the best presentations I've had yet in the headset. You find yourself in a future setting in Boston, New York, year 2061, and soon notice a catastrophic event must have occurred to leave the land flooded and desolate. Quick search around, I locate an old film, which appears to be global warming propaganda. And it's right about this time I found myself in my first game stopping issue. Having selected free roam movement, I got stuck and could not proceed until I switched back to teleport movement, then allowed me to proceed, and then having to switch myself back to free roam. Not too big of an issue, but Hurry, get back could board. be fixed. I entered a makeshift river shanty which carried me along the linear well, path to my next destination. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Better late than never, I guess. Hmm. While well, soaking in sweet. the profound scenery when void of any inception species, or so I thought. It soon right. become apparent right. that you are not right. the Bye. only survivors here, Buckle and a hostile up, tribe Looks of like mask-wearing eco-warriors do not appreciate your company. You must defend your craft from bloodthirsty crocodiles. Oh, bullseye, kid. And clear a path ahead in order to keep on traveling forward. You'll notice highly detailed remnants of the past, like vehicles. It slightly resemble a Ford truck, and even Twonkies, an obvious play on Twinkies, which is pretty cool. Even includes fully detailed baseball card cutouts on the back. The art designs here have a distinct dystopian feel to them. Moving ahead, it's at this point where I encountered my second game-stopping issue, 
It's the rope I needed to pull to lower a bridge that completely lost its hit detection, leaving me thinking I did something wrong and looking for another pathway ahead to no avail. Having to reboot the game, it decided to work this time, enabling me to proceed onward. A fairly simple puzzle to restore power to an elevator, I find myself at my destination. But gaining entry is a whole nother level. Security online. Use biometric hand scanner. And once I was able to satisfy the high-tech security's requirements, I finally gained entry into the apartment. Now initiating stage two, iris recognition scanner. Stand by. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow, I'll miss you. Paul McCartney, lead And once the gaining stables. entry, I discover I'm not alone. You locate a watch, and once this watch is acquired, you gain the ability to store important items, deploy him to assist you, and collect time shards. Now, as you can see, I'm no ordinary fob watch or time trinket. I have the capability to give you an extra hand. Literally. <laughs> the sacrifices I make. In exploring the apartment, I noticed this isn't Russia. the timeline I remember. First country to land on the moon. What? Needing to restore power, you were faced with another fairly easy this puzzle. This like the kind of thing we could jumpstart a small town with. Power online. Base level now at 50%. There's also a multitude of really cool 80s and 90s throwbacks to play around with in here. So, have a little fun. And when ready to proceed, you'll find a VHS tape that you need to view. Well, kid, if you're watching this, then you made it. You then learn how to upgrade your watch using the time shards found around the areas in order to carry additional items. You'll complete a small puzzle to acquire a new storage slot. Well. Pin my tail and call me a donkey. And puzzles are basically the name of the game here. While some are relatively simple, Cosmic others God can be quite you know. tricky to accomplish and require thinking First outside the, the box in order to progress. Next hoop to jump through. You will also be Seven. jumping in between God multiple timelines and locations. And These jumps are not only seamless on the PS5, but quite with each new area comes new puzzles to figure out and solve as well as unraveling the mystery a bit by bit temple empty and the land around it not a soul walking up on it a great calamity befell these people. I don't think we should be here. 
you'll be making multiple jumps from location to location and back again in order to grab items from one area and take them to another which will aid you in completing a task within each different area we could use to restring it Nothing like a grand return. Let's head back to Takao with this newly minted bow and see what we can uncover. Swift as an arrow. The time jumps are enabled by finding unique runes in each area and inserting them into your watch to reach your desired location in order to solve that area's puzzles and receive a new ruin. And that is basically the core gameplay loop. Hold on a minute. Yes, this looks like another fragment. Someone's left this for us. But what happened here? Wanderer offers a wide range of locations, with each being as stunning in detail as the last, as you enter each area repeatedly to gather more and more clues, ruins, and pieces to solve that next puzzle. It starts to force you to dive deeper into it. Now where are we? The when are we is 1969. Again? Well, maybe one moment he, uh, you've killed someone. He finally blew a fuse. And the very next, you'll have a bomb dropped on your ass. As the demons you unleash, born of your ambition, carry out the dread apocalypse. I call the story Marty here. Corso. Is unique sport about it, will and compelling. We're all taking one for the team. Very well put together. You can tell Wanderer was developed with love and high ambitions. The end result is absolutely magnificent. Although not without its downfalls, like a few bugs, some wonky physics at times, a little lacking on the sound design, and some prominent tracking issues with using the outdated moves all of which could be addressed with a future patch. Wanderer, in one word, is impressive. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, if not for the aforementioned issues, which again, a patch could be in the works to fix them, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe, and as always, have fun, stay kind, keep gaming. Let's go.